friends, dear friends, hello, and yes, welcome to the nose dive of Molin that continues right now. So, Molin is becoming one of the biggest, hottest stocks, and probably not for the best of reasons, but it is it's it's a huge thing right now um i think you know a lot of us there's a lot of mixed information there's a lot of agreement disagreements on what's going on with mullen i myself you know i before i say anything else in this video i'm bullish on mullen that this could work um from what everything we can grab and see with this company to being real and trying to become something here but there are some things going on with Mullen that disappoint me scare me as an active investor somebody that has money wrapped up in this so here I go let's rant about what's going on right now so Mullen is being talked about very heavily right now in the sense of there's analysts that are writing um just hit pieces on it just ripping it apart um we're seeing these articles coming out where they're just they're starting to call molin in very nice terms a scam company and there's many investors that believe that right now too now there's the other side of the fence where people are like well it's a real company obviously they're making vehicles you know there's it's real but you know Molin is in dangerous situations. What, things that we do know to be true. Molin is on their uh, last leg here. They have to have a dollar minimum big price for at least 10, sec 10 consecutive days by the end of August or they're going to have a reverse split. They've ran out of extensions at this point. NASDAQ is calling. Now, with the fall of the market here, Molin like many other penny stocks right now has taken damage severe damage and it continues to take damage we have not it, it it just keeps falling at this point to a scary scary number but obviously there is a little bit of a situation that could form here and that's the other side of the coin here where a lot of investors even some articles right now are coming out and saying that they believe that Mullen could be the you know the short squeeze flip of the year if it can be pulled off now what can make Mullen have a very big short squeeze here what could possibly do that well like i said there's obviously people betting against Mullen. there's people betting for Mullen. as people are buying options for and against Mullen puts and calls this is what is pushing the stock all over the place right now now with saying that again i believe the rest of this week is going to be a washout like i talked about just a day or so ago I'm not expecting much. I told people last the other day, I said, hey, I'm not expecting Mullen to do anything here this week. I think it's just going to be a hard week for the overall market. The majority of the attention in the stock market right now is on Meta, Facebook. Now, looking at this candlestick chart, I, you know, if you look at it, I believe you see more, you know, the common eye will see more green here than red. When we look at volume with Mullen, we're seeing decent volume. Not spectacular, but we are seeing decent volume. We're seeing decent volume. And I personally believe the only thing that is moving Mullen right now are the common investors. Just the day Joe Smo investors, you know, me talking here. Mullen has lost the attention. It has lost the trust of big corporations, big businesses coming in and putting money in. Now, obviously, there's the whole Saudi deal that's being talked about. And that is not that has not even been settled. So that's the other thing that there's a lot of confusion that this Saudi deal is already happened. It ha it's just being talked about. There's no been exchange of money, nothing like that. Mullen does run the risk of going bankrupt. That's why Mullen is trying to get deals made. They're trying to get money in the bank. Obviously, this is not a company that um, is like a household name. They're a very fresh EV company in the time span of companies existing. But going back to Mullen being one of the biggest talked about stocks right now, it, it, it may not look like it. And listen, friends, this is like not, before I say something else too, this is not me telling you to buy into Mullen. This is just, I'm trying to put evidence together. I'm trying to look and see what's going on here. A lot of being an investor is following the breadcrumbs and being an investigator. With Mullen taking so much damage of late, there is high possibility that we could see a huge, huge upcline 
going into next week. Like I said, Friday, we got one more day here. I, I'm not expecting much. I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be a washout. I would love to see it recover a little bit, at least get back to an eight to a nine, but it's going to be strictly up to investors at this point. Mullen is not talking. I mean, they're just not saying much here. And we know about and we know about the contract from District of Columbia. We know all this stuff. Um, the news is not pushing Mullen at this point either. We've had a few good uh, breaking news articles with Mullen, stuff that's happened, but it's still not moving Mullen that much. I mean, it's just not doing much. So what am I trying to say here? I, I really think the last saving grace that we have here with Mullen are, is the general investor pushing up Mullen. I am very, very doubtful that the common investor will be able to push Mullen to a dollar. That I am pretty much 100% certain on. With me saying that, I do believe Mullen could get to a dollar if Mullen can lock in some huge deal, if this Saudi deal can happen as soon as possible, or some other deal that we don't even know about, some huge company coming in, buying, you know, X amount of shares or working with Molen. It, Molen needs money. It needs money. I, I, the main thing a company needs, it needs money rolling in. That's what big investors like to see. Molen is losing steam. It is lo losing investors. It is losing the trust of obviously the big investors, but now the common investors. I mean, y y if you look at comments, you look at where Molen is. People are getting very doubtful with what's going on here. Like I said, Mullen is not really talking. They're just not really, they're not really doing much to help. Um, so it's concerning. So key points, Mullen, yes, possibly with the stock going so low, we could see something happen here. If the market were to shift going into next week, um, it would do better numbers. Sh day traders, they focus in on Molin. I mean, hey, look look at this price right now. Six cents, five cents. I mean, probably five cents by tomorrow. Who knows? You're able to buy a ton of Molin shares. If you got a hundred bucks, man, you're buying what a thousand you're buying a ton of shares you're buying a ton there's going to come a moment here where mullen is going to probably hit 10 cents 15 cents here once again but like i said will it have a huge short squeeze where it will trigger some kind of gamma squeeze to where we see it run up to 50 80 cents to a dollar that is the big question right now crazier things have happened we've seen this happen plenty of times with plenty of penny stocks in the market Plenty of people have become rich or millionaires with things like this happening. So friends, we have a fight on our hands. Kapla, I, I listen, I'm going to hold here. Um, even if I go freaking bankrupt on this thing, I'm willing to let that happen because I, I think there could be a, sh a trigger here of a short squeeze, a big short squeeze. I'm not saying it's going to happen. So listen, don't put all your apples in here just because I'm yapping about this situation. If you think it's bad now, it could get worse. Trust me. Mullen at least needs to get back to 10 cents here fast. So friends, with all that said, let me know what you think here is Molin going to survive what do you think is going to happen here are we going to see a gamma short squeeze a little short squeeze or is Molin eh, just going to kind of bleed off here until we see a reverse split a lot of people are on different views so friends let me know what you think I will talk to you soon take care everyone bye bye <laughs>